Avoiding toxic people. I'm avoiding my sister because she is a stupid, dumb B-I-T-C-H right now. I can't trust her. She's so judgmental. She, she judges me too much. And I just don't want to deal with her. And then I have uh, my boss who totally craps all over me. And I can't afford to quit because if I quit, uh, I don't get my unemployment benefits and I don't want to have to do a different job start all over again So I have to put up with her abuse and her down talk down talking down to me and telling me to do things that are wrong because That's policy or whatever, but I think it's crap And then she plays favorites with their employees. And it's like I'm getting to a boiling point where I'm like Something's got to give here. This isn't fair the way this is going down the favoritism with other employees and then I get yelled at for stuff they don't get yelled at for. You know, double standard. And she can be as rude as she wants. And then I'm supposed to sit there and go, yes, ma'am. Yes, um, Yes. And then do things that are not supposed to be done. Because they say they have to be done like that. God, I hate this world. It's so retarded. It's like, God, I just wish it was the old days back when people just traded. It's like, sick of this money race. It's just crap. You know? I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to avoid people that are toxic in my life that make me feel horrible. Even though they're all trying to worm back into my life and stuff. It's like, too late. You know what? I'm just avoiding toxic people. The only ones I uh, will allow abuse me is my boss because I have to. But people I choose to have in my life that I care about are very few people. And those people have done things that, have, that are very nice and... They're very special people to me. And it's unconditional love for them. Because they haven't gone out of their way to hurt me. So. Um, and there's nothing in it for them to love me. They just do. And those are very few. Um, not going to name any names. But it's definitely not my stupid sister. Who acts like she's holier than thou. And she's no better than anybody else. She works at Starbucks. Making ten bucks an hour. And I work for 10 bucks an hour and she still acts like she's better than me because she drives a brand new uh, car that she makes payments on. I don't drive a brand new car because I'm not stupid enough to make payments on a car that I can't own for at least probably 10 years until I pay it off. That's stupid. Um, it's like having credit cards. You don't want them. Uh, that's why I just don't want around me because she tries to act like she's better than me because she buys stuff to make herself look better than me. And I can't stand people like that that... That try to compete with others to look better. Try out their hot stuff. And it's like, dude, you know what? I got more money in my pocket because I'm not making a bunch of payments on stuff that I don't even own yet. That the bank can easily take away from me. That's just stupid. To me, it's stupid. Especially when you have limited funds and you're spending more money than you're pulling in. And you try to buy everything brand new for your kids. Everything. And all you're doing is teach your kids how to be selfish and little turds. And they grow up to be assholes. And you wonder why your kids turn out to be criminals and stuff. Because you didn't teach them the right way. All you taught them is to, is to get everything handed to them. That's what she does. My sister, she just hands everything brand new. And their kids are rebelling because they're getting tired of it. They're getting tired of getting everything given to them. And they get bored with it. And she's never let her kids ever ride in my car. Because she doesn't think my car is good enough. So I'm just sick of her, and I'm sick of her calling my phone and having her kids call my phone. I'm just staying away from her because she's done a lot of things to me that really made me feel bad. They talk down to me, even though she's younger than me. It's like, you know what? Just fuck off. Just go away for a long time. You know what? I'm going to do things I want to do. I want to visit my hometown where I lived when I was a kid. I'm going to spend the money that I made of my crummy, crummy, quotation, crummy job, and my crummy car, quotation, cr crummy car, and I'm going to drive down there and I'm going to go take a look at the house I used to live in and the town I used to live in. Because there's little pieces of my life that I'd like to pull back together. Because I still have a purpose in this world. And it's not about how good I keep house and all that and what I own. It's about life. It's about belief. It's about God. It's not about pleasing others. It's about trying to get back to your roots. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find the reason why I'm here. And it's not to sit there and babysit her kids. My sister's kids and hang on her every damn word. Her stupid, dumb husband who's a judgmental prick. Who got left on someone's doorstep because nobody wanted him. That's how it is. And they take it out on me. And they just treat me like a damn doormat. 
her and her kids and her family and her fucking boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call them. They just always been disrespectful to me, and I've always felt beneath them. And as long as they're gonna treat me like that, and treat my kids and my family like that, then that's it. I'm done. I don't want to sit there and feel like I have to compete with them. I feel like I have to have a perfect house, a perfect car, a perfect life. It's not perfect, and I don't want to be perfect. I want it to be the way it is. And if they can't accept that, then they don't need to be around. But anyways, you know what? The only reason I put up with my boss's crap is because I get paid. So at the end of the day, I can go home and go away from them. They're not related to me. I can always transfer and get a different job. So that's the only reason I put up with that crap. But my sister, no. I don't think so. Or even want her to know where I live because I'm sick of her judging me and telling me what a piece of crap place I live in. That it's not all brand new stuff. I don't have a brand new car and a brand new washer dryer and all that. I'm sick and tired of the competition. Sick of it. Judging me because I, I feed my kid a Hawaiian punch instead of an orange for something to drink. I'm just tired of her judging me. This world is hard enough. And I'm just happy with the way things are without her around and her crap. I'm just sorry, God. Just for, you guess you'll have to forgive me for that, but I just don't need her around. It's, I don't need my blood pressure going up. I just need to go through the motions and live my life until Jesus comes back and saves us from this hell that we call Earth. And that's about it. And the little the little luxuries we might have to make us happy, that's all that makes me smile. The stupid little things that my sister thinks is crap and that should be thrown in the garbage can. So I just, you know, I don't have anything common with her. And she can't accept that, I guess. It's like I just need to be alone for a while. I, I don't want you around because you made me feel like shit. And the people that I care about made them feel like shit. That's how it works. And who cares anymore? I just don't want to be around you.